All right, guys. Here's another installment from El Miguel on the bus. I wanted to shoot a picture of this uh, deal that we use to keep our tea and or water or whatever you wanted to put liquid-wise in that red container right there is uh, a screw top igloo that we bought at Walmart they're fairly inexpensive and they have uh, the ability to put one of the ice the fake ice things down inside of it because it's big and it's easy to clean out and there's a lot of room in there for like you can put a gallon and a half of tea in there and still have room to put the big ice thing down in there so I'll show you what we kinda theorized about it and what it actually came out to be it worked really well really well so here's what we do we make tea we let it cool down which is the longest process actually out of the whole thing the most cumbersome thing that we found out was letting the cool letting the tea cool down after it's been boiled to get it to room temperature so you don't have to deal with uh, a lot of stuff we haven't pushed the limits of that just uh, kind of left it setting out for an, you know an hour or so and letting it cool down in a in an aluminum pot but we put the tea in there once it's back to room temperature we set the tea inside of here or put the tea in the container and we set it inside of our freezer and I'll show you that of course you've seen that before that's the it runs off a of 12 volt solar and it is absolutely fantastic this thing works so good it's unreal anyway so we take this tea the, or I mean the uh, container and we set it down inside of the freezer right in the center at the bottom of it and for whatever reason it cools it down much faster than when you bring it out and leave it setting so once the tea is made here's the system basically you put it in there you let it sit inside of the freezer for a couple of hours and it's cool almost to the point you know I mean it's it's very I guess I don't know refreshing if you want to call it that it's cool enough that it's it's nice to drink it the good thing about it is you could set it in there overnight for eight hours and it won't get cold enough to freeze so what happens is is it'll cool down and you can start a cycle where you can continuously start putting tea in there well, let's say you get down to half a tank so you make a little bit more tea and you add it to the cold tea that's in there and set it back in the refrigerator and what that does is it continuously keeps cold tea without letting it freeze in the freezer and that's the secret is to use the freezer to keep it cold but not letting it freeze and that that's really worked out good that we had a theory about this was going to work but we hadn't proven it and this really this camping trip right here proved this this works out fantastic if you notice my wife likes uh, this LaCroix stuff that comes in a can and we haven't put those in a cooler we could but she prefers to use the fake ice cubes and puts them in a cup rinses them out I'll show you that over here on the countertop one at a time and this seems to work out good for her if you notice there's their fake ice cubes and all she does is take this cup rinse them off with water and set the whole cup back down inside the freezer and within an hour it's refrozen and that really works out good too here's our system of keeping a refrigerated cooler if you notice we have a high-end cooler from Walmart these are about a hundred bucks and they're smaller we're not trying to keep a bunch of stuff just the basic mint you know that like milk for my wife's coffee there's some pimento cheese some feta down in there uh, there's some salad stuff down in there but we're using these frozen deals and we just swap them out about 10 or 12 hours we put one in there two in there in the morning and then we come back 
and we swap them and I'll show you down in here in the freezer right down in there in the bottom we put those down in the bottom and we're getting we're starting to use up some of our food but anyway we've been here for a few days but we keep all of our frozen foods in here which really works out great for us on our diet it, it really makes sense to use a freezer so and right here in that middle section is where we set that cooler down in there and like right now I could set it down in there and it would it would cool it back down a little bit but it's it's ice cold right now because it's been sitting in there all night it was in there about it was a full thing of tea and it sat in there about probably probably 13 or 14 hours and did not freeze completely and it that's because it's in a vacuum insulated container and for whatever reason that seems like it works really good so so basically what we're doing is, is we're creating a refrigerator by using our freezer and that's by far the most efficient way to do it that I've found and it's very simple because it, you have you know 10 or 12 hours in between when you need to deal with it so it's not like you're sitting there every 20 minutes swapping it out or dealing with water from the ice run you know from the from the ice that you're putting in there you're not having to go somewhere and buy ice or make ice even you're just swapping those pieces out inside and there's no water no mess no nothing we keep them clean we don't lay them around on anything and we just put two of them up on the top lay and put everything in the bottom of the cooler and then we lay those on top and that lets that cold go down to the bottom of the freezer or the cooler I mean and uh, the only thing we had to do is we removed there was like a little handle that went on the side I'll show you it was a handle stainless steel handle that screwed in on each side of that and uh, we had to take that off because it didn't work very good anyway that's the cooler situation with the freezer all right El Miguel out